Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we had finished off the apartment complex and bought a load of burgers, just because we can. Now, let's go back to Janine uh, with her rifle, because of course we also picked up her rifle, because that was like the main point of actually going and seeing her. So, rifle in hand. Uh, really, dude? Really? You're just going to like mess me up like that? I don't think so. I don't think so, Milado. And I'm going to take your, like, $30 or whatever pittance dribbled out onto the floor. 40 I think, in the end. Right, let's get out of it. I do wonder, though, why the Retro Fighters control pad doesn't... Uh, analog stick doesn't work on this game. It's really strange. Really bizarre. I think I will test... Um, some more games in detail another time um, now as this game is going to be wrapped up soon I need to decide what game to do next Ooh, there's so many there's so many like I literally I I don't know where to even start oh, I've been thinking about I think for the like the last three or four days I've been thinking about doing my next game because I know this game's going to be winding down now. Um, I, I guys, I I don't know where to start. I'm in way over my head. I'm drowning in games. Do we spin up another Dreamcast game? Do we go balls deep into PlayStation Two territory? Do we do another Strike game? Oh God, I don't know. I might do another. I, I, mm, yeah, I don't know. I mean, by the time you guys see this, I would have already decided. And uh, we would already be quite far through the recording process. Uh, where did I go in here? Because I'm stupid. You're a stupid ass. I want to go through area B. Okay. Right, in the interest of saving time, I'm going to cut this bit out. And I'll catch you guys later. My sweetheart. My sweetheart. Oh, that's so bad. I'll write you then. What took you so long? <laughs> and what's that smell? You guys practicing to be Santa Claus? Maybe. Is that any way to talk to your father? <laughs> Janine. I'll be out for a while. <laughs> I like the way he just saunters off. Uh, oh, God. Janine? <gasps> hmm. Didn't quite look so happy there, did she? Hmm. Janine, Janine, Janine. Dad. Well, I mean that's very touching. I'm, I'm sure. Um, at least I imagine the developers were hoping that was going to be very touching. And Elliot, who is feeling very miserable and pissed off, seemingly for some reason, I, uh, I don't know, uh, is staring longingly out into the distance over the complex there. I actually quite like the way he's out here staring at this. It's, I don't know. Something about that scene is actually quite cool. Uh, let's get topped up on health. I like the way Elliot just seems to have inserted himself, should we say, into their family. It's quite funny. You know, I'm getting a very uh, Leon and Ada vibe, should we say, from Resident Evil 2. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I guess I guess shit happens pretty quick on the battlefield. Right, let's give it a save anyway. Just because we can. And this is going to be the last time that we can save this game, I think, here anyway. 
Because once we leave, we will not be returning. <coughs> Here's the plan. This layered shutter runs on hydraulic tidal power. It changes with the ebb and flow of the tide. Yes, part of the pump is exposed. When we destroy this and let the pressure out, the rest of the shutters should open up. Okay. Enough with the theory. How can we destroy that? Hold on. See? We get to the top of the wave tower and shoot the pump with a long-range rifle. Makes sense. The target is about 300 Anti-material rifle, eh? Are you sure? Oh, she's genius, kid. She's a genius when it comes to shooting. <laughs> Look at him. Now he's a doting parent. Janine, how can we get to the wave <laughs> Bad daddy. We'll go through the tidal power water pump. We'll get out from a south door to the end of the tunnel. It's already programmed to unlock the door. Okay. Can you walk? Mm, pretty much. Let's go. Well, all righty then. Let's go finish this dance, shall we? Uh, right, to the pump. Finally, we can go through this door that's been locked for the entirety of the game. And who would have thunk it would have led right to the end boss? I mean, everybody, I guess. Right, okay. Oh, boy. Well, that little dinghy is what we're getting in, apparently. On board only holds two. Then you two get in. Why? <laughs> Dogs is not the best swimmer, and your leg is injured. He's a ship we'll captain that can't swim. No, don't work on destroying that pump. Got it. Uh, makes sense, I suppose. I mean, it's a good thing the swimming mechanics in this game are so good. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm counting on you, hon. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. A family reunion. Shy. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, dogs. Shut the hell up, Elliot, you dick. I'll turn on the switch. Yeah, kind of a weird vehicle, Majig, really. Not really sure why it couldn't have just been an open boat, but hey. Uh, I guess I don't make the rules. Anyway, I guess... I guess it's the old Shoelace Express for us. That's okay. Oh, short end of the stick as always, eh? Right, let's get our swim on. Well, at least it's not far. Oh, right. It actually is quite far. I don't know why they kind of like force you to swim through this bit. Well, technically they don't. There's actually a lot of this bit that you don't actually swim. Uh, there are some goodies to pick up along the way. There's also some monsters that we could, in theory, blast along the way. But there's not really a lot of point in blasting these things. There's a couple. No, don't, you know what? If you're going to shoot it, shoot it, I guess. Didn't actually want to shoot that. I wanted to shoot the tentacle. But hey, you do you, Elliot. You do you, buddy. Might want to switch up to something that's got a little bit more power to it. Nope, that seemed to have done it, apparently. Right, there we go. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is see how long it takes the blood to kind of fade away here. Kind of spreads out in the water, which, although the effect isn't brilliant, it's nowhere near as good, for instance, as... The blood in the water on Turok 2. Um, you know, it's, it's fairly competent. Alright, let's kill these things. 
Because there is something in the water that we can grab. And we might as well get it. We can exhaust all the handgun ammo because we're probably never going to use this weapon again. Until, obviously, our next playthrough, which would probably be, I don't know, 10 years of time. There we go. They might bring out like a decent clone Dreamcast by then. We could dream, damn it. Alright, well, let's blast everything we can. Like so. Nice. And you can see, just under this git here, this swinging gonad. That there's some ammo for Elliot's rocket launcher. Which, Elliot, can you go down, please? Thank you. Which we might as well grab if we can, I suppose. Oh, we don't have any room for any of these rockets. Um, no, that's... That's a little bit sucky, but hey, it's fine, I suppose. Oh, right, let's keep marching forwards. Oh, there's a tentacle that side. Well, we don't really need to do anything with him. And there's some more mutant fish. Which we really don't care about. These like areas are so bizarre as well. How they're sectioned up. Some of them are really small. And some of them are not quite so small. Do kind of... does make me wonder. Could they really not fit these sections in the Dreamcast memory better? I don't know. I'm not a programmer, so I have no idea. It just seems really weird. Considering how big some of the sections in the actual uh, city were, or the village, the town, there we go, brain started to work at the end there, you would have thought they could have made these waterways a little bit, uh, I guess, bigger without as many loading points. Elliot, can you stop missing every other shot, please? Thank you. Right. Got three bullets left. Ooh. Not bad. There's some 120mm uh, rockets. We'll have those bad boys if we can. Yes, 120mm missiles. Not too shabby. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, look at that. That little monster. He's actually got his face in the water. Well, if he wasn't dead, he's now drowning, which is excellent. And Elliot, please, please swim in the right direction. I know it's difficult. I know it's been a long journey. And I know you're not the smartest guy. But please try and walk in the, uh, in the right direction. Actually, I prefer if you'd run in the right direction. You know, let's speed this up as much as we possibly can. Oh, God. Well, we're out of ammo for the handgun. Luckily, we have millions of weapons. Uh, let's get the acid gun out. Oof, that worked. Not sure how good the acid gun actually is, considering we're in water, but hey. I guess it didn't dilute the acid down too much. This might actually be a slightly longer video. Because I have a feeling we're going to run out of... Uh, well, our 30 minutes is going to run out before the end of the game. But there's going to be like, I don't know, 10 minutes of the game left. So, might be a long finale. I won't tell if you don't. Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, God. Finally out of that waterway. Thank fuck nuggets for that. Right, come on, Elliot. We're so close now, dude. So close. Elliot, can you hear me? Did you hit the pump? No, the 
Elevator, stop. And we're locked in. Well, that sucks. Hang tight. I'll be right yeah. there. Yeah, we're on it. There's an elevator controller on top of the tower. Hmm, that's useful. 1730. I apologize for this mess. Relax. This ain't your fault. Use this time to get to know your dad. <clears throat> I will. But who the hell's Elliot? Dr. Phil all of a sudden. Bloody hell. Alright, well, let's go. Not really sure why we have the that whole transport tube system is just strange if you ask me. Um now this is kind of the last place we can save it, really. No, there is one last place to save it, actually thinking about it. Yes. We'll drop a save there. What can we buy? Uh we'll get some life hooks. Because yes. Anything else we can buy? Big boy weapons. Eh, eh, we don't need any of that. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we'll download the map because why not, I suppose. Now, this bit's a bit of a dick penis. Because of the risk of falling to your doom. Now... I'm going to assume there's nothing here either. This area is kind of... Oh, that's where the elevator is. I see. That's the way you can go straight up. However, they, of course, because of plot reasons, got stuck halfway up. Because, of course, they did. Yeah. Uh, this bit is really annoying because you can fall to your death very easily. Like... And then that's it. Game over, man. And this is where my striker DC was really screwing up. So hopefully, switching back to the OG control pad, uh, I'm not going to have as many deaths, if any. There are a few life hooks we can actually pick up here. Now, every time we fall off, I will demonstrate. Every time we fall off, it uses one life hook. To reset us back to where we are. That was a demonstration there for you. Alright. Run. Okay. Uh, and if you don't have a life hook, that is an instant death. Kicks you straight back to the game over screen. Which is kind of dickish if you ask me. Now, especially with how they've laid out some of the tentacles in this game. Yeah. Hey, we found some railgun ammo. That's cool. Can we change to dogs? I'm curious. In f no, you can't. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Alright, well, let's go. Now, not all of these areas actually fall apart. I don't think we can... Yeah, we don't have any space for any more of those, which is fine. Where's the tentacle? Because the tentacle will knock you off and kill you. Which is kind of really shitty. Because here you are walking happily, merrily even, towards the final uh, moments of the game. And then you get bit slapped off. And if you don't have uh, a life hook, well... That would be quite annoying. I mean, admittedly, you can just like save the game further down uh, at the bottom of this place. So it's not too bad. But yeah, it, mm, I can see some uh, questionable, questionable choice words being used. Let's just say that much. Uh, oh, we got the plasma gun. Let's use the plasma gun. I like the plasma gun. We don't have a lot of ammo for it, but we've got enough. And in all fairness, where else are we going to use this thing? Oh, one shot. Wastes it. Nice. A bit of a waste, I guess, using it on one of those. But hey, that's fine. Oh, fuck. That was close. Um, What is that? There's a life hook there. I mean, we don't really care 
about the life hook, to be honest. And there's something... Oh, God. There's something over here. What is that? Yeah. That's a laser gun battery. We don't even have the laser gun, but hey, when in Rome, am I right? Now... Now, there is a few flaws. There's not millions, but there's enough. And there's a blood bee there. Let's see how many... Whoa! Okay. This plasma gun is uh, way better than I thought it was. As I said, it kind of feels more like a shotgun. Without, you know, the massive damage fall-off that every game seems to inflict on shotguns. Uh, so where are we going? I think we're go. Oh, shit! Good thing we got those life hooks. Okay. Oof. Oof. Right. We don't need that ammo there. Ah, there we're, that's where we're going. Yeah, <laughs> those life hooks really are lifesavers. Oh, yeah. I'm here all day, folks. Uh, at least until the end of this video. For those of you who haven't instantly uh, clicked off and smashed dislike, of course. Um, for my uh, amazing sense of humor, of course. Come for the games, stay for my humor. Where are we going now? Kind of interesting that they throw one blood bee at you just to fuck you off. You would have... Ooh. Oh, what's in the corner over there? I actually have no idea. Let's go pick it up. Uh, it's a life hook. Okay. Uh, sure. We've used a couple, so... Might as well replace it, I guess. I mean, these guys need souvenirs. To remember this advent... Ah, this adventure by, don't they? Right, we need to go straight over here, I think. Yeah. I mean, who built this place, honestly? They use the cheapest materials known to man. Oof. Ah, and here we are. There she is, guys. There's Gigadent. The crater. Made by the meteor that apparently destroyed the dinosaurs way back when. And look in this. Where is it? If you want to see some foreboding... Ah, yeah, look. We have a gate there. But if we can look through this gate, if we get the angle just right, we can see some beasties in there. There we go. But these aren't your garden variety beasts. They're in toxic liquid waste by the look of things. But they're totally not active. Which is really weird. I think I noticed that once. As a kid. And it creeped me the hell out. Anyway. Don't have to worry about that. They're just in there waiting. Waiting for us. And I guess we can hit save. Just in case this goes horribly wrong. Which it won't. Uh, yep. Save it in the tower. Okay, cool. Restart the elevator. I. Good. Good. Man, he sounds like Deacon St. John from bloody uh, Days Gone. Good. 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 That's all he ever says. Right, uh, well, here are our friendos. Yeah, what a fine band of bastards these guys are. Let's go. Elliot. Janine. Elliot. Janine. Oh, hey, friends. I need three minutes to set up the rifle. Another 45 seconds to aim and fire three rounds. Can you pull off the monsters for that I think round? so. Let's do it. So here we go. We have to hold off these monsters for three and a half, well, three minutes, 45 seconds. 
Um, if you think this bit's going to be hard, you'd be wrong. Because we've got a Gatling gun with infinite ammo. And literally all we have to do is stand back here. There we go. And this is as fun as it sounds. And this is it, guys. And these guys cannot pass. You shall not pass. Not sure why these guys are invincible. They have uh, plot armor. But, I mean, hey. Whatever works for them, right, I suppose. Not that this is working for them, of course. This really is not working for them at all, actually. And here Dogs is defending his also with a freaking Gatling gun against uh, invincible monsters from beyond the moon. I guess he never thought that would happen. Maybe they're infused with Hassi energy drinks. Yeah, it's certainly possible. But yeah, the Gatling gun certainly is where it's at for this thing. I hope none of that hot brass falls over Janine. That would be awkward. Especially if it made her drop her rifle. Still, that's okay. Not really sure as well why sometimes brass doesn't come out of the gun. And sometimes it does. However, if you hold the button down, you get loads coming out. And as fun as it is to kind of go, I don't know, Rambo on them, that does drink the ammo. Although this gun does feel fun to do that. But when you can just tap the button like that and have the same effect, there's no point. Now I'm sure, in theory, if you didn't have the Gatling gun, this would be harder. But it really isn't. <laughs> as long as you've got just about any weapon that can knock them back with a ton of ammo, you can pretty much reliably do this. And also, this is what I was saying earlier on in the LP about um, the Gatling gun is, is the most efficient weapon when it comes to uh, ammo efficiency. How many rounds do you get per dollar? I mean, we've been firing this thing for like two minutes flat. And we haven't burnt through all of our ammo yet. In fact, we've only gone through, what, maybe two boxes? So that's 400 bucks worth of ammo. Which admittedly is the same price as eight handgun magazines. But the handgun magazines are kind of useless. You guys had enough yet? I guess not. We're just going to continuously blast at these things. Yeah, the Gatling gun's broken, really, when used in the right... Um, well, when you tap the button, the Gatling gun's absolutely broken. Because it will drain most things' health down pretty quick. Not very good against bosses. But against average enemies, it's savage. Especially if you can get them trapped. It's very good of the enemies Here we go. to stop. <laughs> Dogs and Elliot just fucking throw them off the edge after all that. Ugh. Oh, he's a big boy. What the hell? You go. <laughs> 
I would uh, get off the tower pretty quick. But then most of it fell apart. Oof. Battle of the Titans. Looks like Predator. Now I'm sure that was meant to look way more dramatic than it actually is. Beat him, Neffy. Please. <sighs> what the? Look at the lab wall. We don't have to worry. We've got a freaking Gatling gun. And yeah. Hello, you. Oof, it's like a dragon. Just set dogs on fire. Ah, he's fine. I'm sure dogs is fine. Right, now, this guy sucks. Okay, he's actually a really stupidly easy boss. Um, and for a long time, I thought Nephi kind of got defeated. And uh, we now have to defeat this... Uh, well, she's like resting. She's been beaten up and she's like taking a breather somewhere. And you have to damage the this thing. But that's not the case. Uh, thinking about this, I think this is the smaller clone. Nephi's still fighting the big thing. And we've got this little clone to fight. Because that it just that's what makes sense to me. Um, because that big thing is in the Giga Dent. And we're not in the Gigadent. Right, let's get the launcher out. There we go. Look how much damage that does. That doesn't look like it did a lot of damage, but it did. And we need to reload. Right, dogs, it's your time to shine, my friend. There we go. Should be able to get two shots off. And then we run. Run! Okay. Okay. Another shot. That's fine. Yeah, we got him. Reload and then run. Stick and move, motherfucker. Oof. Can we get two shots off? Oh, we can get three shots off. Not bad. Eh, we got her, but that's fine. Reload. That's fine. This is why I wanted the hamburgers. Because if we need to heal... We can just use the hamburgers. Alright, let's just get the rockets out. When he gets down to half health, roughly, he will start feeling a little bit worse for wear. Wait for him to let off another blast. Yep. And then we'll have a hamburger. I think we're going to get hit again, though. I think. No, that's fine. We got the hamburger off. That's cool. Yeah, can we move now, dog? See how long he takes to recover from eating that hamburger. That's why, idealistically, you need something... There we go. That heals a lot of health. Because even though you heal yourself, you're still going to take damage. Right, reload. Alright, let's go. And now he's fallen down into a pit... He actually becomes a little bit easier to, to kill, I think. Right. Should be able to get three rounds off. Which should just about cook his ass. Eh, not quite. That's fine. Reload. Run, dogs. Good man. 
Finish him off. Really? I don't think we quite hit him. Smile, you son of a bitch. Boom. And that is literally the final boss death. And then we get this happy music. Admittedly, that does look pretty cool. Nephi, you fucked him up. See what I mean? She's still there, fighting him on Gigadent. And if you look how big those bridges are, we definitely didn't fight the big thing in the model. In the model, in the middle. We were taking on that small clone that we passed earlier in the game in the water. Well, I guess Tim is not dead. So that was the battle for Dinosaur Island. We won. And unfortunately, that ends Blue Stinger. And that game was awesome. I really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. And now we have the credits. The credits are unskippable. Sadly. Um, but... If you check out the character voices, you'll find it's the same character voices for Sonic and uh, Dr. Eggman. Which, <laughs> it's actually really cool. I like that. Especially as the colour scheme for Dogs and Elliot are basically Sonic and Tails. Even though, I don't know why it's Tails. It would be better if Dogs looked a little bit more like Eggman. But... That's Blue Stinger once again. Does this game still hold up? Now, that's a difficult question. For me, yes. But I grew up with this game. I accept its flaws, of which there are many. Um, if you came into this game fresh, wanting to play a retro, quirky survival horror action game i don't know i don't know if there's enough here to carry you through it um it has so many problems the combat the animations the controls uh but personally, I think it's worth playing. And I think if you have any interest in the horror genre... I mean, it's not really a horror game. But if you have any interest in kind of like action games and you fancy something a little bit different, I think it is a fun blast. It really is. The The weapons are wacky. The, the story is batshit crazy. The enemies are kind of simple and very repetitive. But they're not bad. The pacing for the game is, is fairly good. It's fairly standard. Visually, the game has not aged very well, I don't think. 
even for a Dreamcast game, it doesn't look that fantastic. Uh, the voice acting is... It's better... It's better than a lot of the games of the time. And it's... it's de its Delivery is okay, but the script itself is where the problem is. Um, the writing is just pretty rubbish. But again, it's... It's about average for the time. I would like to have seen this game um, reimagined in some way. Or even if they brought it back as is. Uh, I would say the biggest fault for this game, apart from the combat, has got to be has got to be the camera angle. The camera angle is horrendous. I think if this game had six months more in the oven and they just tweaked the camera and uh, maybe even the combat a little bit, gave it kind of like a basic lock-on system, it could have been much better. But it's still a wicked good fun time. It really is. Now, what really sucks is what it says right at the end. Yeah, 1999, guys. This game is 21 years old. Fucking hell. 21 years old. I mean, when you talk about graphics, this game was going up against the PlayStation 1 and then 64. So bear that in mind. Nephi transforms into a weird egg thing. The load more of those meteors. Hmm. And that. <sighs> See you next adventure. Oh, you little cock teasers. I wish. I think this was would have had a bigger story to it. Um, maybe we would have found out exactly what Nephi is doing. I mean, she's obviously, or it's obviously going around the universe defeating whatever the hell that big dinosaur thing is. Um, clear time. Oof, that's bad. There was a lot of time where this game was paused, though. Um, yeah, so I think they would have had uh, some, some bigger plans for this game in the grand scheme of things. Uh, obviously we never, we never got that far. Um, 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 I guess I could just save it over there because we've got a brain area save there where we can go play with some of the weapons. Um, but unfortunately the company that made this game, um, this was their first game and the first game as this company anyway. I mean, it was published by Activision. I forget who actually made the game. Uh, it was made by a company called... Does it even say on the back? It actually doesn't. Hmm. I did actually uh, find out the name of the company. They're called like Smile Games. It's something like that. They actually went on to make another game called Ill Bleed or I'll Bleed or something like that, which was another Dreamcast game. And unfortunately, that was their final game before the company was shut down. That is a very different game to this. And it's a game that I've never played. Apparently, it's a little bit more like a David Cage game. It's more like a Heavy Rain or Detroit Become Human sort of thing. Thing. it's i've heard as well that it's quite good but i've i've never played it myself we we we'll, maybe we'll get to it at some point if we don't play through it we'll have a look at it um anyway guys i'm going to chuck on the end of this um some footage of me going around with the big 
beating stick. But apart from that, guys, this is the end of Blue Stinger. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been great to come back to this game after all these years, uh, after all these years, and um, I've I've really enjoyed it. So, thanks for you guys, and as always, till next time. Okay guys, so a bit of a Brucey bonus video. Uh, I think the only weapon left that we haven't played with is this thing. This is the club. Now this thing is just monstrous. Um, it's only for dogs. And it is a silly weapon really. Do you want to use the club? Yes, I love the way he laughs. Um, this huge club is as heavy as it is powerful. Now, I don't know how heavy this club actually is. Yeah. But it looks bloody heavy, put it that way. I also don't know how much damage it does. I've heard very mixed reports um, online. I've heard that it's somewhere in the region of Elliot's and Dog's rocket launcher power. But it's also incredibly difficult to use. But it did pretty much one hit knock that guy out, which is fairly impressive. Let's see if it's consistent, though. Will it consistently knock this guy out in one hit? Because this guy's fairly tough. I mean, he's not one of the toughest uh, about, but he's, he's up there. Let's see if we can smack him over the head with it again. <clears throat> but you can see the wind-up of just how long it takes to, like, hit something with it. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, one down. Is he dead? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I guess if you think about it like that, it's pretty damn powerful. I mean, what else does dogs actually have? Um... I mean, the railgun's pretty powerful. Let's go and see how many shots it takes to bring that thing down with a railgun. I'm going to say probably not many. But the railgun, I think, is a fairly good mid-tier weapon system. You would have thought a railgun would uh, <clears throat> actually be, you know, somewhere around the top of the, the power. But hey, I mean, firing a slug, a metal slug at... Um, the speed of sound, you would have thought it would do a lot more damage than most things. Okay, so, I mean, he only took two shots there. Which is curious. So, is it fair to say it's two railgun rounds? Um, I think it's significantly more damage than that. Now, what other weapons do we have that Dogs has? I mean, let's compare it to his bow gun, which is his starting weapon, of course. Uh, we've got three rounds in there. Let's put a fresh magazine of arrows in that. There. there we go. Now, the bow gun is roughly twice the power of the handgun. And it's consistently twice the power of the handgun. That's something I have tested before. Come on, you bell end. Round the. You know, that's fine. One, two, three, four. Right, he's had four. Oh, he's dead with four. Might even have been dead with three. I guess this guy's quite weak. Hmm. Dead with three. So that would be like eight handgun bullets. No. No way. Let's see how many handgun bullets it takes to kill this guy. It's got to be more than eight, surely. Because that's weak motherfucking source, yo. Alright. Let's try that again. It's got to be more than eight. I mean, I know he's not a strong one. He's kind of like a lower mid-tier... Bad guy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bullets. Okay, he's actually... Alright, fair enough. He's weaker than I thought then. Huh. That's disappointing. 
Wish we could test that um, weapon on a bigger enemy, but without playing through like a massive chunk of the game again uh, to get to a bigger enemy, there's no point really. Um, I think it's safe to say though, it is powerful. Let's try Elliot's shotgun out because the shotgun is a weapon that we know is disappointing. Uh, I, I actually played with this a lot off camera playing this game and it really is quite a disappointing weapon. Right. So there's one burst, two bursts, three bursts, three bursts to bring him down, which is what? How, right. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four shotgun shells in a box. And it fires three at a time. Yeah, it fires three rounds at a time. Three bursts at nine shotgun shells. That's really quite poor. But anyway. There's the club, as promised, guys. Now I am going to stop recording this. Because uh, <laughs> we're going to have like a 41-minute finale. But that's fine. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.